Hey everyone. In today's video I'll tell you how to create a simple uh, aesthetical column using the grasshopper and rhino. First of all I'll create a rectangle with center option on and I will snap it to the center and I will pick my first rectangle. Similarly I'll draw my second rectangle. yeah maybe like this and i'll draw my third rectangle so once after that uh, i will be adjusting their uh, vertical positions by moving this one by 100 it's not required 100 it's not required maybe 550 so i need to minus it down Furthermore, I'll reduce it to below and I will move this one also by 75 or we'll come below like this. So this is the shape I wanted to make my uh, column look like and I'll little bit expand or I'll reduce the size of this one. Okay. Once you are set up with your curve, basic curves, you can go and open Grasshopper and you can start selecting the curve in the jury. So the curve, I will select my first curve. So I will select my second curve. And I will select my third curve. So once it's all uh, selected, I need to divide my curves the points so divide curve is the component available in uh, grasshopper so you can take that and you can connect this one similarly you can do the copy of this divide for all the three curves oh shit. sorry So by default whatever the numbers it's default 10 i think uh, it's dividing the curve by 10 points so i need it to be divided by 20 numbers so i'll add 20 to the numbers okay so once after the division you need to use the component called shift list so the shift list i'll uh, explain you in detail right now you follow along copy three times the same shift place yeah once after that you need to connect these points to these uh, lists and you can add the uh, shift offset which are uh, so i'm going to add four to this e to this maybe you can adjust whatever you want they are also at 3 once after that you need to merge these uh, all these three curves together from the shift or lift component list component so we have a component called merge and take that merge and uh, connect these curves to this one so now we have got all this in one uh, merge component and after that you need to use the component partition list and add this output here and this count also you need to add it here once after that you need to add a flip matrix component And finally, add the component called interpolate. <laughs> and use the curve component to get the curve output. Yeah. So then you can take a copy of this thing all together and drag it down. And you can adjust this shift list. So which creates a 
shift in the uh, curve positions and reduce or you can increase whichever way you want you can use the merge component to merge these two curves Also, you can take a uh, this goes as well and uh, create a pipe component and connect this one so that it will create this pipe and you can specify the radius. So I'm giving the value 0.3. Yeah, so that you will get a nice uh, structure like this. And in this, you can always always go and increase or decrease your components. Uh, also, you can move your curves, whichever shape you want. So this is the uh, benefit of using a uh, parametric uh, models. So whenever the design upgrades, you can just use these uh, parameters to improvise your design, which saves a lot of time. So after this, what I'll do, I'll go to this pipe and I'll do bake and give yes, please. Okay. Once after baking, I will hide all this and go to my workspace the shaded mode uh, or in the rendered mode uh, I'll go and see my uh, output so this is how you can create uh, so many new structures using the uh, use of uh, grasshopper and rhino hope this video is helpful to all of you guys so please subscribe to my channel to watch more similar videos like this and please do comment if do you like to see any of the videos which you are really looking for. Thank you.